automatic emergency braking systems. That's what I'm going to be testing today. So a lot of people are a little bit concerned that uh, with electric cars being so quiet that you must commonly run over pedestrians. Now I have done another video measuring the sound as electric cars come past and actually once they're really rolling it doesn't make too much difference. But most of these uh, electric cars, all the Teslas and most of the other modern cars, electric and non-electric, have an automatic emergency braking system that should detect an object and then at least reduce the speed at which you have a crash, if not stop completely in front of that object. You can never test this yourself because if you try and drive up to a wall and see if the car breaks, you're probably going to have an accident. However, today I have my friend Elon Musk with us in our showroom. So we're going to try and drive into him and see whether we injure him, knock him down, destroy him, kill him or stays alive. Let's see what happens. You'd assume the testers would stop just in time, wouldn't they? Maybe open the door for him. Let's see. OK, let's start off with the Audi e-tron 55 Quattro, 10 miles an hour along outside the school. Here he comes. And it stops, then it releases the brake. So actually then it sort of rolls into him, but I would be on the brake by now. Okay, it stopped. Let's go for 20 miles an hour. Audi e-tron now at 20 miles per hour. Here he comes. I was actually slightly under 20 miles an hour, but I felt the seatbelt tense up and then it hit the brakes pretty hard. We stopped at quite a long distance. Again, it released the brake as soon as it stopped, so it can move forward. I'm going to just test that again. Can I get to 30 miles an hour? I don't know. Let's try. If I hit him full speed, I hit him full speed, whatever. <laughs> that didn't work. I hit the brakes at the end, so we don't completely destroy. Now, I was still slightly accelerating for that, so I'm going to have to keep this to a speed that I can maintain and sort of be just cruising. But if you're accelerating at near 30 miles an hour, that was a probably a fairly severe injury to Elon Musk. Oh, he's laying on the road. Whoops. Okay, let's reset. He dead. I just broken Elon's legs. Okay, so as we reassemble Elon, on that I was doing about 28 miles an hour I saw just as we were coming up to Elon, it didn't seem to break and I just kind of automatically, even though it's cardboard, hit the brakes um, but it, it didn't do anything. Um, so just with a bit of Google, I should have looked at this before, the Audi Presense City uh, has emergency braking but only at speeds are under 25 miles per hour. So there we go, that's why the Audi didn't break. Now in the Tesla Model X we're not using autopilot, this is just driving like you would be driving around town and automatic emergency braking is on. It's always on by default, you'd have to turn it off to not have this and don't know why anyone would really do that. Right, let's try it first at about 10 miles per hour. Let's see what happens, nice and steady. Drive along now. Yep. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> quite hard. I actually thought it wasn't going to. I think the Audi was doing it a little bit earlier, but it stopped very hard and very violently and did stop at 10 miles per hour. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, 20 miles an hour in the Tesla Model X. There we go. Indeed, come to a stop and Unlike the Audi e-tron, once you stop, this then holds it in place. It doesn't move unless I now press a brake or accelerator um, and it moves. Okay, that was actually then skidding along the road to stop in time. I can see skid marks on my road. So I'm going to now try this again. Uh, sort of 25 miles an hour like the fastest the Audi would do. Ooh, just about, just about, at 25 miles an hour, I've just about saved Elon, by the look of it. Okay, so the Tesla Model X worked. Um, apparently the automatic emergency braking will work up to 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour on this, whereas the emergency braking for City Presents and the Audi e-tron is 25 miles an hour. Um, still has warning systems, but anyway. Um, Tesla Model X, yep, yeah, just about, actually, didn't leave as much space it broke later so in a way it was more uh, dramatic but it stopped 
just in time not to injure Mr. Elon Musk. Very good. Now I'm going to test the Model 3. Let's start with 10 miles an hour. violent as well so that beeped briefly and then hit the brakes really violently uh, we've stopped uh, i'd say about a meter from elon there tesla model 3 20 miles per hour yeah <laughs> so it gave me quite an early beep I hit the brakes and again we're about a meter from Elon there. Should we try a 25? Tesla Model 3 about 25 miles per hour. <laughs> Just hit Elon. Not hard but if that was a person they'd would have slumped over onto the bonnet I think would have hurt their legs for sure could have broken a leg so close it did beep quite early so it did raise attention but the actual braking didn't happen until a bit later on so um, yeah interesting wouldn't have killed them but would certainly have hurt some legs at 25 miles an hour but the, the warning was quite early let's try a Jaguar I pace 10 miles per hour nice and steady Mm, that was me. It didn't even try. <laughs> Came very close to it. That was just me. Okay, let's see if, if it works if we go slightly faster. Maybe it doesn't have a pedestrian avoidance system at all. Okay, let's try again just in case. Let's try 20 miles an hour. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Now I'm in a 2019 Tesla Model S P100D, 10 miles per hour. Yep, <laughs> that worked and stopped about a meter in front of Elon. Let's try a little bit faster, 20 miles per hour. 20 miles per hour. Oh, he just stopped in time. The beep again, the beep was early, so it gave me the warning, but the actual braking was very, very late. I don't know if I probably didn't quite touch it, but we're very, very close. Let's see what happens at a slightly higher speed. Actually, it's Model S at 25 miles an hour. Yeah, it did stop just in time, but to be fair, I, I had just lifted off by autopilot. I'd kind of, not my, my autopilot, not the car. I'd just kind of lifted off, so the speed had started dropping. I'm going to try and hold it more at 25. Let me just try it one more time. Yeah, right, let's try and hold it about 25. So I'm still accelerating. I well, just on my on the accelerator. Do you know, that actually braked earlier because I was actually still on the accelerator. Not sort of accelerating hard, but I was on the accelerator. I actually braked earlier. Hmm, this is interesting. Right, let me try this again. 25 miles an hour, and I'd be just on the accelerator, just cruising along. Okay, so it seems to be a bit of a pattern, I think. On the tester, if you're actually still on the accelerator, it brakes earlier than if you'd kind of lifted off. I think if you lifted off, it kind of gives you that chance that you're going to brake. Let's try it again. As if you're actually accelerating, it goes, no, this is really not going to go too well. I'm going to brake you right here and now. I'll try a little bit faster, maybe. Let's try 30. So I'm still actually probably accelerating here. So 28, 29 miles an hour. That was interesting, I was on the accelerator, it beeped and well, it hit the brakes and then actually eased off the brakes a bit, it wasn't too violent. So that was very, very good, I would say. 
audible warning, hit some brakes, but not a complete hard full slam. It just stopped in time. We're about, I'd say about a metre, 80 centimetres short of Elon Musk. And I was doing 28, 29 miles per hour at the time. I'm going to do this one more time for the benefit of doubt. But this time I'm going to be up to 30, off the accelerator, slightly on the brake, and just see how that intervenes then. There's a car pulling in, I'm just going to give them a chance to go past, so don't panic at me driving at them. Okay, let's try this. So I'm, I'm pretty much like, I'm off the brake now. Yeah. Yeah, there you see. So interestingly, if I was on the brake, the emergency braking was much later. Whereas when I was on the accelerator, the emergency braking was much earlier. Hmm. So that works quite well. It kind of assumes that if you're on the brake, you're going to sort this stuff out. But if you're on an accelerator, you still don't know about it, I better hit the brake early. Um, so that's interesting. Let me just explain this again. Let me explain what happened. You destroyed him. Is he absolutely broken? Yeah, he does look a bit broken, doesn't he? <laughs> the camera's a bit pointed up. Put the camera back so the camera can see it. Let me explain what happened there. So if you're on the accelerator, it breaks early. It oh, stops so it you. Yeah, so that one I'd accelerated, but I was on the brake already, and it intervened, but re it, it, the very last second. So actually, it's more effective if you're on the accelerator still. It goes, this isn't right. I'm going to hit the brakes. If you're already on the brake, it assumes, no, or right. even if you've just lifted off it assumes you're going to have this. So actually, if it's still on the accelerator, it breaks way earlier, which is quite interesting. Right, this is a 2015 Tesla Model S. So in the UK, the 2014 cars didn't have any of the radars or cameras which it needed for autopilot. But when you get to very late in 2014 or 2015, you do have the cameras and radar systems. So this car um, does have automatic emergency braking. Let's try this first at 10 miles per hour. Mm, it beeps but didn't brake. I actually had to hit the brakes on that because our Elon is starting to suffer a little bit. So let me try this again. Yeah, let's try this again at 10 miles per hour. Last time it gave me the warning but didn't actually brake. Yeah, I had to brake again. We're just going to completely destroy this Elon otherwise. Let me try this again a little bit quicker. Let's try 20 miles per hour. What's it going to do? Yeah, that was a beat very late. I swerved at last second because we're just going to destroy our cardboard Elon. He's already struggling as it is. Um, so I'm double checking here. Automatic emergency braking is turned on. It does have it, but we're not making it work. Okay, so now we just put a very large cobble box in front of Elon to see if it will notice that a bit better. Let's do 15 miles an hour. No, nothing. Nothing. We would have gone straight out. A beep right near the end, but no, no braking. So, AP1 says it has automatic emergency braking, but even with a big box like that, I don't seem to be able to get it to do that. Right, this time I'm in a Golf GTE and this has city safety. It's my wife's car and it does do emergency braking sometimes. Sometimes we don't want it to, but it didn't do it. That was 10 miles per hour. And I swerved at last second just to save Elon, but it didn't seem to do any braking. But I know this car when I've driven this on the road, it does alert and has occasionally hit the brakes. Um, so I know it definitely has it. This is our own car, I had it quite a long time. Yes, I know it does have an engine, it's a plug in hybrid, but long term average 300 miles per gallon, I'll have you know. Because we only ever use it in the city. So it barely ever touches. I think this tank of fuel is over a year old. Anyway, okay. Let's try a little bit quicker then. Let's try 15 miles per hour on this one. No, it's not going to do it. Hmm. 
try a bit more, otherwise this is going to be this is going to be one of Elon's last chances because we've put so much tape on him now; he's falling apart. Okay, so maybe this car just needs something bigger. Okay, let's try one more chance, and then we'll put a big box there, see if it works with that. So, like I said, I've, I've driven this car on the road quite a lot now, and I know that it does sometimes. Get nervous, want to break? No, nope. it's not. Not gonna do it. No. Okay, let's try with the big box and Elon at 10 miles an hour. No, it's not gonna do it. I don't know, I missed that, that was tight. One last chance at a faster speed. Let's try this at about 20 miles an hour. Nope, it's not gonna do it. Do it. <laughs> okay, one last chance, one more chance. Okay, I'm gonna go straight into it. This is 10 miles an hour and uh, 12 miles an hour now. If it goes into Elon, it goes into Elon. Yep. Not a, not a single moment of breaking until I hit the box and Elon's been skidded over. Hmm. Why doesn't it work? Who knows? Well, that's a surprise. I would have thought this would work nicely. Okay, well I think that's enough trying to kill Elon Musk for today. So what did we find out? Well, Tesla's did a pretty good job of protecting their boss. Um, it's quite interesting to just see how, actually when if you're still on the throttle and, and this scenario is something you didn't expect, it's actually more proactive in when and how, how it breaks than if you're already braking, which kind of makes sense because it assumes that you're already aware of something, but it did still break at the last minute. So interesting how that system works. I'm actually quite like to sort of play around with it a bit more, try it at more speeds and stuff, but we'll literally run out of time today. Um, the Audi e-tron did a pretty good job, well, very good job of not killing Elon Musk as long as you're not traveling more than 25 miles an hour. Um, the Jaguar, well, he was happy to run over Elon Musk all day long. Again, we've been checking online, it, the Jaguars do have this system, but it does seem to be quite widely recognized that it's not particularly functional and doesn't work. So um, it seems to tally with that, and Jaguar are quite happy to run over Elon Musk and break his legs and cause any injury they can. The VW, well, actually this car is interesting because I was expecting it to work. I use this car, it's our family car, my wife's car, and um, it does work usually, except if you're driving at Elon Musk, so maybe the VW a bit more clever in what they're doing and will break unless it's needed one anyway let's not go there um quite an interesting day i hope it's been interesting watching uh we'll continue to make videos like this and comparisons and group tests this seems to be really well received so thank you everyone for the really kind comments it uh, surprises us so we'll definitely keep on making videos when the opportunity arises it's been very very busy recently but um, we always try and grab days and opportunities to do various different types of video so thanks for now thanks for subscribing thanks for your likes don't forget to follow us on the other social media platforms as well facebook twitter and instagram and uh, we'll see you on the next one cheers